Uh, I had the honor of meeting Jeff Healy when I was, I believe, 14 years old, actually, at a, uh, at a telethon, and he was there lending his support. And uh, I was just kind of getting started in the business. And, um, you know, there's something about his spirit as not only as a as a musician, but as a as a man, that was very uh, captivating, even to me, even though I was just a punk kid teenager. <laughs> we played here many times, and he's that kind of guy. He, that's what I loved about his Thursday night. His Thursday night was just a bunch of guys, great players, just humbly getting together, and it was one of the best kept secrets, I think, in Toronto, because the kind of people that would play there and jam with him was, was absolutely stunning. And uh, it was no big deal, it was no cover charge, just people showed up. That's the kind of person he was. I, I remember one time I had a, a TV show called Road Stories with Alan Frew, and uh, I asked Jeff if he would be a part of that, and he immediately said yes. I, so I thought I would play a trick on him and, and take this old wacky guitar that, um, you know, I, I couldn't have tuned even with sight and ears and uh, the help of a tuner. And so uh, before we started the show, we got the cameras rolling and I said, so Jeff, I hear you can, uh, and he went, nye, nye, nye. <laughs> and I swear to God, he tuned this guitar in about 0.3 of a second. It was just unbelievable to watch him do that. He was pretty much game for anything. Like whenever there was a, f a photograph to be taken, he would be the first one in there, you know, like, oh, let me do this, let me do that. So uh, it was a lot of fun that way. Uh, there, w there won't be anybody like Jeff Healy ever again. There never has been, and there never will be. He was recognized worldwide uh, for his talent and for his, his great personality. And he's uh, someone that always touted Canada um, anywhere that he went. He was acted as an ambassador. So I would like to ask you to join me uh, in this effort to get Jeff Healy inducted into the Walk of Fame. I just, uh, I just say I, I miss him a lot as a friend and a colleague, and uh, I think, I think that uh, he should be number one on the list. If there's anybody that's deserving of being on the Walk of Fame in Canada, it's Jeff Healy. You know, he absolutely deserves you know the recognition and and a spot on the Walk of Fame for what he's con contributed to the Canadian music scene and abroad. Uh, just so talented and brought such a unique uh, flavor to not only his genre, the blues, but also um, music in general. Nobody played like him, and uh, I'm not sure anybody will again anytime soon. So, uh, yeah, I can't support Jeff's nomination enough. So, good luck to you, my friend. We miss you. Hi, I'm Morgan Evans, drummer for Hard Road. I'd like to make sure that you make sure that Jeff Healy becomes part of Canada's Walk of Fame. Hi, I'm Michael Bridges, music promoter for Southern Cross Gypsy Promotions, and I'd like to nominate Jeff Healy for Canada's Walk of Fame. And Canada-wide, he was, uh, he was uh, our darling, and he should be nominated for a Walk of Fame. Jeff Healy was the only one on the face of the planet at the time who could evoke such a wide range of sounds and emotions from this instrument. It wasn't just about the way Jeff played, his unique style, the unique style that he actually approached the guitar, any instrument that Jeff would play. He would evoke sounds, music, beyond the nature of the instrument itself, whether it be the piano, the bass, the drums, the cornet, anything Jeff would play. Jeff Haley deserves to be on Canada's Walk of Fame not only for his musical abilities, for his encyclopedic knowledge of jazz, blues, and genres beyond. You've heard from a number of friends and musicians stories from around the world and here in Canada. They probably guessed but weren't really sure about it and I'm sure you've heard that his generosity was overwhelming. His generosity was overwhelming as a family man and as a friend. His, his world revolved around his children and his family and his music because they represented who he was as a person. They were part of him. His music was a part of him, his family was a part of him, and his determination to say to the world anything is possible for anyone. And I think if that's what represents Canada, 
that's when someone deserves a spot on Canada's Walk of Fame.